And thank you, puppies, kittens, even rabbits. A whole lot of pets are in need of a good home right now. Humane societies across the state say they're running out of space. Cheyenne Sibley has details. The Kauai Humane Society says they not only reached full capacity, but are over capacity. So, yeah, we are over capacity, and that means we have more than one animal in a cage. It means we're using our isolation and sick rooms um, for holding animals as well. To help free up some space, the Kauai Humane Society is offering to adopt and transfer an animal to the West Coast for only $150. Which would normally cost up to 700. <laughs> Abandonment and surrendering of pets is a big reason why the humane societies are full, and this is due to people downsizing and moving houses. And finding animal approved housing is so, so difficult, and the housing that is uh, you're allowed to have an animal at is so expensive that. It's really not obtainable for a large part of the population. The Big Island says a problem they're facing is not having enough volunteers to give the animals enough attention and care. We have the smallest staff of all the humane societies in the state. So we have just about 20 full time staff operating Hawaii Island Humane Society, divided between our two shelters. And Fostering helps open up space, and June happens to be Foster Month. They say kittens are a good foster pet, especially because it's the beginning of kitten season, and they'll even give you a free kitten kit. So if the kittens that you find are too young to be, you know, if they're not two pounds or two months old, um, they cannot yet be spay or neutered, so they can't go out for adoption just yet. Humane societies are holding a foster open house for all animals at the end of the month. For more information on how to help, go to our website. Cheyenne Sibley, K2 and 2 News, working for Hawaii. Well, that just means we have to go to all the shelters and adopt a whole bunch of animals. I wish. Wish I could. Wish I could do that, too. Yeah.